In this video, you will learn about the basic settings of an ARCHICAD project. These are the project info, project preview, location settings, and project preferences. These settings will be unique to the currently active project and will be restored upon saving and opening the ARCHICAD file. There's a lot of information available about the project already when you haven't even started designing it. You know the client's name, the location and site information, the name of the building, and so on. Storing all this information within ARCHICAD instead of a piece of paper is a good idea, because you can use this information later on for project documentation and delivery. To register the data, you need to go to File, Info and Project Info. Here you can add the relevant data to the preset fields and create new fields if you'd like. The real advantage of a correctly filled project info dataset is that you can use it as an automated text across your project. It is commonly used on master layouts, for example, so you don't have to type the same letters and numbers whenever you create a new layout. You will have a consistent title block with automatically filled, correct data, which you only need to change in the project info to modify at all locations within the project. You can set a project preview image for better identification. You need to go to File, Info, Project Info and ARCHICAD credits in BIMAX. In this dialog, you can bring in images from your clipboard or browse any image file from your local storage. This image will be shown as an icon for the project whenever you browse for it. It also shows in the startup dialog at the recent project and as a preview image for BIMAX models. Talking about BIMAX, on the other tab, you can add your name, website and logo that will be saved to your BIMAX file. This way you can add your branding to the model, resulting in a more professional impact upon client presentations. The following project-wide setting is the location, accessible through the options, project preferences, or from the drop-down menu of the survey point on the standard toolbar. Here you can specify the latitude and longitude coordinates of the project origin, time zone and sea level. You can check the coordinates on Google Maps. The survey point settings are only relevant when you work with other disciplines and you'd like to align your models, but that's out of the scope of this current training. Another important setting of the location dialog is the north angle, which you can input both in numerical and graphical ways. Lastly, let's talk a bit about project preferences. We are not going to go through each setting, but you'll get into a picture of what these are for and learn about the most important ones, starting with the working units. These options are pretty straightforward. If you're working in imperial units, you can set your preferences to feet and inches. If you're working in metric, you can choose your preferred unit. These will define your modeling inputs, so let's say if it's set to centimeter, the value you put into the tracker will result in a wall that many centimeters long. Type in 500 and it will be 500 centimeters long. If the working units were set to meters, you would need it to type only 5 into the tracker to model a 5 meter long wall. You can similarly change the units for area, volume, angle and the units you want to use while working on layouts. Other settings can all be accessed from the Project Preferences dialog. You need to open one of them to activate this dialog, and once it's active, you can switch between different settings like this. These settings include many project-related ones, like how the dimension values are displayed, your calculation units and rules, how specific zone mechanics will apply, and more. If you are someone coming from an earlier ARCHICAD version, you'll find some legacy features here that can be turned on or off optionally. That concludes the basic project settings in ARCHICAD.